Hi, this is Dr. Corey Glenn, and I'm going to take a moment to demonstrate the implant test. Uh, this instrument sold by Blue Sky Bio is a very useful tool in helping judge the stability of your implants um, from the time of placement up to the time of integration, and then also for tracking them over time. Very simple to use. There's only one button. And as you see, when I click on that button, it actually will have a little probe that taps whatever you're trying to test. Now what's unique about this um, compared to other instruments like it is there's no need for proprietary um, pins to stick in the implant. You can use anything that will attach to the implant. So that could be your fixture mount, that could be your healing abutment, that could be an impression transfer, uh, that could also be the final crown. So if you want to track an implant over time from the day you deliver a crown, um, and see what it looks like every six months to know that things are going okay and that the, the stability is not going down, you can definitely do that. So the way you use this is that you'll hold the, the probe tip about a millimeter or two from the, the implant or from the crown that you're testing and you just want to hold it um, as close to 90 degrees to it as possible. As you can see, I'm 90 degrees to this crown. Um, you could have a variation up to about 45 degrees, for example, posterior of the mouth, it may be difficult to get access, so you might have a little bit of angulation, but try to get as close to 90 degrees as possible. Um, very important on this is that you hold it horizontal to the floor. Um, so if you, if you don't have it horizontal to the floor, you're going to get errant readings. Um, but once you do that, you just push the button, and the probe is going to tap the the implant or the restoration and it's going to give you a reading. I'll zoom in and show you that a little better. And once again you could do this on a healing abutment. That implant is very stable in this styrofoam model or a fixture mount. And so as you can see you get different readings based on the stability of what you're, um, you're testing the implant test on. Now what do you make of those readings? Well the, the scale that you would go by is um, from 7 to 10 you can be very confident that that implant is stable, that it's probably okay to go ahead and load. From 5 to 6.9, uh, you need to take some clinical judgment on that. It could be ready to load. Um, it could need further assessment. Um, you know, an implant placed into immature bone that may not have matured, that might be an example where you might have a, a mid-range number. Um, you know, if you were doing it on a crown, in my experience, when you're using it on a crown, you might have a little bit of a lower number, and my thinking is that it's probably the cement absorbing a little bit of that. But when you get below 5 on the implant test reading, that's a pretty sure sign that you need to stay away from loading it. Uh, that means the implant could potentially be failing or that it's just not matured enough to go ahead and load. So, um, um, very simple to use as far as the uh, cleaning of it. It can be taken apart. You can unscrew the nose cone and wipe the probe down. Um, if you choose to, you can also take out the entire probe itself and this can be heat sterilized and then just placed back in once you're ready to use. Uh, so great tool, um, hope you'll find it useful. I know that I have in my practice.